We just put these pavers in, we ripped the concrete out, we replaced it with pavers, and we used a fine pea gravel. And we're not going to put a polymer sand because we want the water to go through it. So I'm going to show you how and why we did it. Now we're lifting up the, we're taking out the old concrete, put pavers in there. Now we dug this all out. There was concrete here before and we're going to put pavers here. I'm not putting it traditional way, I'm putting them on gravel because he's got a big driveway, all the water runs down here and it'd be forming pools of water if I did it traditional. Also we have pipes underneath here at the pool. So we don't want to cover the pipes, if he ever has to dig it up, we don't want to be here with jackhammers. So we got different heights here. The wall's different, that's different, this is different, and we're going up here. So we don't want to say we got to cheat with everything, but we got to appropriate or adjust. Anytime you're doing a masonry, you got to adjust. It's not black and white. You always got to adjust stuff. So we're going to lay this on, on pea gravel. Our next step is to fill it in where we think the height's going to be. We're putting the gravel in. Okay, here's what's going on. I set my line up. Line's going right through. That's going to be the height I follow. And over here, this is where it's going to go right there. So just like if I pour in concrete, I want to get it somewhere close. And I get my little tamper, and I tamp it. And then if I have to add a little bit or take it away, I know I'm really close. All right, I'm putting this on gravel. What's going on is I got to hit this height and I got to hit that height over there. So uh, I just put my borders in like this, right there. Pound it down to my right height. Sometimes you got to add a little bit, like that. Once I get that in, I know where the bottom is here. So I get my board. Just like I'm doing concrete, I screed it. That's all. So when I got it screeded, basically I just put them in like this. Tap them down a little bit. Just keep going. There we go. So, what I'm doing is like seating them a little bit. This is gravel. Some probably, people probably never seen pavers put on gravel. This is what we call pea gravel, right here. Now the engineers call it 1B around here. Every time you turn around, they're changing the name on everything, which makes things confusing. But I'm just putting it in. Just like that. Very simple. I'm just going to mark it right here and right here. Put my square on it. Mark it right there. That's where that's got to get cut. All right, now we're going to go over here and. And we mark the X so the guy who's cutting it knows which part I need. And then we bring it over on the board. This is my little water saw. Alright, and then I just take it. Put it in. That's it. Just keep going, same way. Just like that. You see it? Then when I put my pavers on, everything lays flat. I don't have to be tamping it or any machine or anything like that. Just drop them in just like that. Tap them down a little bit. They're all laying flat. Perfect. 
That way you don't have to be using the tampers, no machines or anything. Just put it right on top of the gravel. And gravel uh, basically packs itself, but the point I'm trying to make is masonry work is not black and white. There's always some color to it. So uh, there's different reasons for certain masons to do it a different way. And uh, you could use, uh, usually I put them on concrete. It all depends. It all depends on the job. This one I want the water to go through it and get it away from it. And gravel is a good base. I did a video on gravel on uh, building stones and their uses part two. It's about railroad tracks, why they use it. So uh, this is just one style of doing things. I just wanted to turn you on to this. Okay, see what I'm doing is we're just going to cement a little thing here that because of the grass. And I'm just uh, just getting it ready. I got wire down here if you see the wire. I'm just going to cement these stones in. It's just a border. Real cheap and simple. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I'm just, here's the wire and the gravel. It's a fast drying cement. Just to get it set and then I can fix it up later. I put a little lean on it. Right there. Same thing. Down to the line, little tip back. So now I'm just uh, putting some cement in between it. Making like a little stone curve, that's all. All right, right here we're just putting a little traditional wall. I got my wire, see the wire? Lay your wire on gravel and uh, it makes a big difference. So I just put a little border around there, just like I do in all my stone videos. So just to separate it, 